love bugs is rosling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is going blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, like always, just thank you for being you, just recognizing your true self, you know, going towards that, embracing it, and learning more about things that you had no clue about. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift or how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction or if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and thank you so much for the love and support as always to the channel and my videos and I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. I'm trying to sit up here and read the, this thing that's going off on my phone and it's distracting me. But anyways, uh, the meditation music that I'm listening to today is called Relaxing Healing Music, Piano Love, Preach Happiness, Smile, Freedom, Hope, Success, Dream, Miracle. Oh, that's nice. So uh, I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't mess up your blessing over some stupid ish. <laughs> I'm serious. Because there are so you know, there are times that you know there could be somebody making you mad and you just like, what if I just trip them? Or what if I just go off on them? Or something like that. And you, you might feel better. Yeah, that might make you feel better, but then think about that karma that comes back. There is, trust me, there is times I want to up and slap the mess out of somebody, just slap the soul out of them and just didn't do it. I had to just, orange is not the new black for me. Orange is not the new black for me. <laughs> I have to tell myself that. Orange is not the new black for me. You know people will test you on an average day. You know, if you deal with narcissistic people, when they feel like their lives is out of order and they need to have their little come up, they will just, they will do that to you. They will just put a monkey wrench in your situation just to see if they can pick with you or just something that they know that they can trigger off some stuff. And you have to do that because it's just the fact that you have to just walk away. And I have to tell myself, walk away <laughs> because if not you know you have too many blessings you're looking forward to and you do not want to mess up on your blessings behind some foolishness and i have to tell myself that you know because it's just like y'all know i sit up here and i go through different situations on different scenarios on life you know especially being a hayoka empath whatever you want to call it all wrapped in the one so it's just like going through these experiences and being able to vlog about them or videotape whatever you want to call it you know is a blessing for me so it's just like when I mess up, it's just like I laugh at it sometimes. And there's people that are close to me that I sit up here and say it's a shame. You know, people can relate to people when they make the most biggest mistakes in their life. It's just like, shoot, I'm trying to make sure I, you don't make the same mistakes I did. <laughs> don't make the same mistakes I did. Because it's just like when I look at life, I'm like, dang, who the hell did I piss off? You know, because I know I did some bad stuff back in the days, you know, because I was a bad little child. But... I'm like, you know, going through this, but it's just like you always have to look at the bright side of things. It's just like sometimes when you're in the midst of the moment, you and your feelings, it's hard to see, you know, the positive side of the situation. It's just like, you know, you could be waiting, uh, waiting on somebody. You could be meeting up with somebody and they end up being later not showing up. And you'd be mad at them like, Dag, I don't wasted my time. I did this and this and that. And the next thing you know, you could have been in traffic and then you could have been in, you know, a car accident. Or the person that you were dealing with just was no good anyway. So it's just like you have to be able to look at stuff like in, in situations and scenarios like that. When, you know, if there's the delay, if that person didn't show up when they were supposed to, you got to look at it in so many different ways. Maybe it was meant for you not to deal with this person because just by dealing with people just the energy that they give off can block off your your blessings 
you know, I've used posts before, you know, the reason why sometimes we don't get our blessings is just because of the people we're attached to, you know, they can't go there. So until we release these things and release these toxic situations and just the essence of what that situation did to us can really mess up a blessing. So it's just like, why am I going to waste my time telling her being mad? Even though, you know, the situations you are put in, there are sometimes we cause our own situations just by the choices we make. But then there are sometimes we are in situations that, you know, we have no control over just because of people want to play God with your life. But it's just like you, you just being angry at that person blocks your blessings. You're trying to be vengeful for that person blocks your blessings. You're trying to be right blocks your blessings. Because there's just certain battles that we don't even need to be arguing about. There are certain things that just don't, just with you not responding is a response. <laughs> that's how you have to think about it you not responding is a response because certain things it's just like with narcissistic people you will never win an argument you will never win an argument I, even though it's just like I've tried you know to be the better person and try to tell a narcissist how I feel or be honest about some stuff either that just you being truthful about some stuff and showing how you truly feel is enough to set them off <laughs> is enough to start an argument and then next thing you know for something that was so peaceful for you trying to be civil now with the average person that will work but not with no narcissist <clears throat> not with no narcissist it will not work so don't block your blessing by even trying to dictate debate with no narcissist narcissistic people no toxic people because sometimes you can just break free of folks like that leave them alone situations that that just is not bringing a high level out of you let it go so don't block your blessings doing some stupid stuff <laughs> do what you need to do let go of the people we need to let go of that's why i'm doing every single day if you get if it ain't matching right with my frequency I ain't even got to explain, especially, especially if you explained yourself too many times. If you have to explain yourself too many times and you know you've grown and stuff like that, we, we too grown about telling people what, what's, what's going on with the come on. So, you just got to let them go. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend. You were able to just let your hair down and just enjoy yourself with, you know, loved ones or friends. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'm sending out most uplifting abundance, healing vibes, uplifting vibes, and loving vibes if you truly need them. And um, I, let me see my post notification shout out. I need to start having this on this page or just having me another page set out. Let me see. Who am I going to give a shout out to today? Uh, Thomas Roberts, much love to you, fam. I hope you had a blessed weekend, had a safe weekend, a responsible one, and I hope your days are staying blessed. And remember, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And share on your social media favorites as well, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to be uploading my next video. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.